Welcome to another edition of Roofing It Right with David Wally. I'm Wally. I'm Dave. My friend Dave here. So today we're in the Northeast. It's a beautiful late fall day. It's a little windy, if you maybe you can tell. It's a little chilly. Um, we're on a big, what, 3,000 plus square job. Warehouse, yeah. Warehouse type type facility, new construction. Yes. Um, as you can see behind me, got guys working. There's a lot of different systems a guy could put on this Correct. job, right? Yes, yes. Uh, we can go what? We can do mechanical. Mechanical. We could do adhered. Adhered. No, hang on. Adhered. So it's chilly late fall in the Northeast. Is that a good idea? No. Probably we won't. Not. We won't do it here then. Yeah. But if this was in summertime, you could. Oh, beautiful job. Yes. Summertime. So. Uh, and then, there, of course, there's Rhino Bond. Rhino Bond. The Rhino Bond system, uh, heat induction welding, is the insulation goes down with one plate, one screw. There is no uh, mechanical attachment in the seams whatsoever, right? So you're eliminating screwed seams and plate all, all, the way, all the way down those seams. Correct. Now we're doing TPO here, so we're using a gold plate or yellow plate. Which right? the, the plate is coated with TPO. Basically, yeah. So the plate goes on, holds the insulation down. Right. Right. Sheet goes over top of that. Right. And then you take the induction tool. And weld it. And weld the, the plate right to from the underside to the sheet. Right. That's your attachment, yeah. right? So Dave, since the contractor is going to be installing Rhino Bond system on this job, maybe we should talk about some advantages of using this system. One of the advantages is wind uplift. Yeah. Now, the reason wind uplift is an advantage, the more fasteners you put in, the more welds you have to those fasteners, the greater your wind uplift. And a building right. this size, that's probably a good idea. It is, and yeah. especially because you're in the Northeast and it's, it's windy up here, I mean, the Rhino Bond over mechanically attached, I mean, if mechanically attached, you have either 10, 10 or 12 foot. Correct. You have all the fasteners in a line. Right down the seam. Right. 10 or 12 feet apart. Exactly. With the Rhino Bond, you put the, the plate and the fastener in like you would put plates and fasteners in with mechanical, but you don't have all the inseam fastening. So you're just putting them in the, in the insulation itself. Correct. And that gives you a more high performance uh, system. So basically you're spreading, you're spreading that uplift across the sheet instead of like a mechanically attached, you're kind of eliminated in the seams. Correct. So you won't have the billowing of the sheets. Correct. Yeah, right. Yeah. Now, you know, when you're doing mechanical, you have to run your sheet perpendicular to the deck. So we have to, with, if, in the real world, these sheets would be going this way. Absolutely this correct. Yes. Deck, right. And it's about 150 feet to the peak, the crown, the high spot, whatever. Spot on the roof. Yeah. Down to right. The low end. Right. So if I'm doing mechanical, I'm going across the flutes, right? Right. With my attachment. With Rhino, you're doing the same thing. You're still hitting the top of the flute, but your sheet can go any way you want it. And there's, so there's all kinds of ways to lay it up. Yes, there is. If I'm running my sheets this way, okay, I can run them into the wall and go up. And one piece. One piece. But that's 12 foot wide. Why wouldn't you run a 12 footer this way and just run that, that flashing up? I have a seam every... 12 feet or 10 feet going vertical up that wall. So basically in, in a Rhino Bond system, and like you already talked about, you're actually using less fasteners versus a, a mechanically attached system. Yes. Or, yes. An, or an adhered system even. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. so cold weather. So now again, mechanically attached, you can install cold weather. Oh yes. Any yes. type, basically any type of weather. Absolutely. Versus an adhered system, you're kind of limited. Well, you know, in, and especially here in, in, in the fall, it's only going to get colder. Right. So you have to watch the temperatures of your heat. Yeah, right now it's pretty decent, but as, 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 the, as the day gets shorter, it's going to start cooling down quicker and quicker. So right. if you're doing an adhered type of system, you have to wait longer for that glue to flash off, which limits you Well, yeah. exposure time. Yeah. Uh, another advantage, what probably every roofer out there, before he walk, he's on a job, before he steps foot out that ladder, what's he concerned about that roof being overnight? <laughs> Is it dried in? Is it dried in? So you actually can dry this roof in faster utilizing a Rhino Bond type system. So again, there's several advantages versus a Rhino Bond system. Again, it's not the end all cure all, but for this job, it's ideal for installing a Rhino Bond type system. Yes, it is. 